All right. Hi there. In this section, we're going to see how to use the TI-8384 to conduct a test um, about the difference in two means. In this case, two independent means, unlike the paired data from the uh, previous section. So in this section, this is actually, what, 9.2 from the workbook. Um, we're looking at a comparison of two means, independent data. And again, it's not quite as complicated as all this tech would suggest. So we're going to go down to the demonstration example. And here we have data for um, 10 men diagnosed with high cholesterol that took no drug. Right? And we'll have the cholesterol level for 10 men who took the drug. Right? Two different men. 10 different men, sorry. And we're going to test whether their means are you know, different. Right? So in this test, um, we're claiming that the mean, the cholesterol level in all men who don't take the drug is going to be greater than the mean cholesterol level for all men who do take the drug. So we're basically claiming that mu1 minus mu2 is greater than zero. All right. OK, so now that we've got everything started, we go over to our calculator here. We hit that over to tests. This is a two-sample t-test, because it's about means. Um, so hit enter. And I'll start with stats. I'll show you how to use data in the second half of this video. And um, so I hit enter on stats. It's asking me for the mean from the first sample, which is 263.2, right? 263.2. The standard deviation from the first sample, 28.5, 28.5, and the size of the first sample, which is 10. Then it goes through, it asks us for the mean from the uh, second sample, that's 231.2, 231.2. The standard deviation from the second sample is 29.4, 29.4. And the sample size for our second sample is again 10. And it's not necessary that these two sample sizes be the same. And this is a right tail test, so I go over to the greater than symbol, hit enter. We have to scroll down because there's a few more things at once. So pooled, you're always going to go with no. Now there are sometimes we might use yes, but uh, not often. So no is no is your safer bet. Go down to calculate, hit enter, and there we go. So we get a test statistic of 2.47 and a p-value of 0.01184. All right, and so what that means, if you look at the p-value 0.01184. Since we used a 0.05 significance level to conduct this test, our p-value is below that. It's 0.01 with some change, so it's smaller than the significance level. And we reject the null hypothesis. And the data supports our claim that the mean cholesterol level for all men who use the drug is less than the mean for those who do not. Um, Unfortunately, the p-value isn't that small, so if we had changed our significance level to 0.01, for example, we would not have been able to support the claim. All right, so let's suppose we wanted to just enter um, the data, the raw data. And that's pretty easy to do, except that you have to type all the data into the TI. So if you were to do that, you'd, you'd hit the Stat button, as we so often do, and you'd stay with Edit, and you'd hit Enter. And here I put, I already put, um, this data into list one and list two. So list one is the um, cholesterol levels for men who did not use the drug. List two is the cholesterol levels for men who did use the drug. So I'm going to go back and conduct the test. I'm going to hit stat. Only this time I'm going to scroll over to tests. And again, two sample t-tests. Hit enter. Only this time, now I'm going to use data. Make sure you hit enter on that. And the data for our first list, for x1, will be um, L1. That's already in there, but I can get it by getting to this L1 down here by hitting second 1. So that gets me L1. And then list 2 can be obtained in that uh, request line 
by hitting second and two. That hit gives you less two. And the frequencies, we keep the frequencies. If we're just entering the raw data like that, if it's not a frequency table, we keep them at one for both uh, samples. And it's still a right tail test, so I'll stay with that. And again, I'm not going to pool uh, the variances. So we go with no, and it says pooled. We go with no. Always a safe bet. Hit enter. And we get a test statistic that is about the same. It's it's different at the third um, decimal place. So it's using raw data, so there's no round off error involved here. Well, there's some, but it's, it's very small. And the p-value is 0.01181. One four before we had 0 0.011842. So the p-value is basically the same, and it's still smaller than uh, the significance level. So using the raw data, we come to the exact same conclusion. We reject the null hypothesis and support the claim that uh, the mean cholesterol level for all men who use the drug is less than uh, the mean for those who do not. And so either way using the summary statistics or using the um, data, the raw data, we come to the same conclusion. And um, both methods are pretty easy. You know, with the first, met first method, all you have to do is put in, you know, the mean and standard deviation. Second method, you have to type in all that data. So there's a little work involved, but it's, it's certainly um, easier than doing this by hand. So you should be good to go.